Hello everyone. In last session, I showed you how to create the light props from Blueprint. And some of you was confused why we add two source light, GI light and dynamic light. In this video, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna explain why we do this in the game. In this video also, I'm gonna show you how to pick your maps in the game's performance to be running in 60 frame per uh, FPS and uh, we're gonna see how we can optimize our scene. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you have to do, just set up, uh, select your post-processing and go to the Lumen system and turn off the global illumination uh, from lemon system because we don't will not uh, will not use the lemon system anymore because we're gonna use the picking or the build uh, now okay so let's try to find the blueprints that we created last session okay so we have one here and. As you remember, we have two uh, lights, one dynamic and one uh, for the GI. So we'll find the GI lights. Okay, dynamic light first, we have, to, let's try to set uh, the intensity to maybe thousand and add light cookie. So we'll find the light cookie here. We have material. Okay, that's nice. And from the where, yes, the GI, now we need to uh, change the radius. So soft radius, source radius, we're gonna change it to thousand. Okay. And from here, do you remember when we said the, um, oh, this is a dynamic. No, we don't need the dynamic. Yeah, we'll keep this now. Uh, indirect light intensity. Uh, let's try to put it in two. Okay. And uh, in radius. Let's put it on a thousand okay for me now it looks fine so let's do build but before we do the build we have something to do in uh, in wallet setting so let's find wallet setting here and now we need to tweak some uh, properties for the gi if we go to the light mass that's what the that's what we are looking for right now. We'll find many things here, okay? So the first thing, the static light level scale, that's something related to the resolution. So if you set uh, this value to lower value, we'll have better resolution, but we'll have uh, more time for picking. So let's keep it now as a one, okay? Number of direction light pounced. Do you remember when we talked about the uh, the light pounced? So that's mean this light, it's gonna pounce it the rays to the floor, and then this floor is gonna pounce it the, the light to this wall, and then it's gonna go back here. So here it's tell you how many times you need uh, the light uh, pounced. Uh, if you set the this value to higher value, that's mean the, it we're gonna take more time for picking and also we'll get more uh, GI so because it's gonna pounce it three times, four times, six times. So let's put this as a 10 times. 10 times it's gonna be perfect for the for the bouncing. If you have the sky, also we have number of skylight pouncing. So let's keep it as a one. Okay, indirect light quality. Uh, if you put this value also to higher value, we will get more uh, 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 more quality. So I will just put it as three. Okay. Uh, and let's put this back to five. Everything now, it looks fine. Let's try to test. To test your picking, just go to the build. And from here, we 
can uh, select medium and press on build light only. It doesn't take that much time because you see the our scene it's uh, it's empty. We have no texture. We have uh, no big assets, but in big scene it should take some time. So as you can see here, we got picked. This is the first picked, but we facing some issue like here in in, uh, in the shadow. Okay, it looks bad. So to fix this, we could. Uh, back to the in indirect light quality and let's put this as one and from here the scale maybe 0 0.5 okay and also i would prefer to select the light and make the intensity for the ji as a lower value maybe thousand okay and let's do big again And there is one more thing here in the um, in the mesh itself. It's called light mass uh, resolution intensity. Uh, we have to tweak it also, but uh, it should be the it, uh, it should be done from the environment side. Okay, so as you can see here, we have nice uh, lighting, but I feel like this lantern should uh, cast more shadow. So we could back to uh, GI intensity and put the value to 2000. And from here, let's add more indirect light intensity. And let's do build again. So yeah. That's perfect. So now we have a very nice picked. So let's play the game and boom. We have very nice picked lighting now. But now we are missing two things. The light cookie is not visible. And also when the characters come close to the lantern, it doesn't uh, interact or doesn't have any shadow. So if you remember, that's why I told you we'll keep the the value uh, the, the radius uh, small radius for the dynamic to just save performance and if we need to add a shadow we can uh, create spotlight near to uh, these props okay so I will keep it like this and put the uh, the temperature three thousand five hundred. And from here, we can do it. Yeah, it looks fine for me. Oops. So let's make it more uh, faded. Okay. And from source radius, I will add more softness shadow. And save. We'll go back here and let's try to make the the light cookie more visible. But because this uh, uh, this wall texture is white, so probably we can't see the light cookie. So let's make the the shadow more darker. Okay, and we'll do one more picking. Be careful if anything change in your scene uh, during the picking, you have to rebuild your scene or to repick your scene. That's very important. Okay, so now it looks okay. Let's try if we uh, change. Yes, we can add more intensity to just make the shadow more visible and source radius i feel it's that's that's fine for me 
Okay, and now let's play the game. So, wow, now we have a shadow. Shadow comes from the lantern, but it's a fake shadow. It just comes from the spotlight, but it's blended together. So now we blended everything. We blended the dynamic light. We blended the, the spotlight and the baked light too. So now we have a perfect baking. And if we turn on uh, the FPS from here, we can set show FPS and play again and make it uh, full screen you see in the right here fps now it's running in 80 fps so which is very uh, very nice okay uh, to see your uh, uh, your test now if we remove this you see the light is still exists because that's mean the the light's picked and to make sure the light is picked or not, we can go back to world setting here. And in light maps, you see this is how the picks works. So basically, it's a create a big maps, and this maps saved all the information in your scene. It saved the texture, reflection, lighting, everything. So, and this is called light maps. From here, you can change the light maps resolution. So put it as 1K, 2K, 4K. It's up to you. And if you open this here, so this is basically what we should see in the games. So the games work like this. It's exported the maps and in the games, there is no lights. Remove all the light and we just keep the dynamic light. And what you see in the game, it just maps. So everything here is picked. Okay, however, if I remove this, I will still see the my light picking. Okay, so uh, this uh, basically, uh, if you was confused about the light picking and why we we add uh, source radius for the GI and why uh, why we add the GI indirect light, uh, there is one more thing here. I just want to test it with you. It's indirect light intensity. You remember when I told you if you are if your uh, light is a static or dynamic and turn on the lumen system, uh, indirect light intensity is gonna be changed. It's a similar thing in the picking. So if I change the GI to one and picked, we're gonna have less uh, indirect light. This scene is gonna be shoot darker. You see now we have less indirect light. But if we put this as 10, and by the way, uh, 10 is not the uh, default value. You can test between uh, one to 10, that's up to you, or you can put it higher. But uh, after you pick, just try to pick. And if you feel it's too bright or too much, you just uh, make your uh, indirect light intensity as a lower value. You see now only one uh, one light can cast all of this area. So 10, it's good for this place. And now, oops. However, I play my game. I can see my light picking. I can see uh, the shadow, which is very important. And also you see the character is interact with the, with the light props. Now let's see if we remove this box. You see here, the shadow still exists. Why still exists? Because the shadow is picked. So that's mean that, uh, as I told you in the beginning, if you moved anything here in uh, in your scene, you have to repick the light. Okay. Uh, however, you can put your uh, static light, change your static light from the static to stationary. And let's see if it's going to pick or not.
yes still picked so the idea for the stationary if we just put the mouse on the stationary here you see here it's called you uh the stationary light will only have sh uh, shadowing and pounced lighting okay but it's still picked so now if i move this this shadow should be gone We should not have shadow anymore. But why we still have shadow? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, we should only have one light as a GI here. Uh, yes, the stationary too. But it's okay no problem we don't care about this right now but yeah what we care about as i tell you to put your uh, light probes as a uh, as in a good value now we have a good radius we have a good gi nice gi so the gi is picked that's more performance uh, absolutely more than the dynamic light uh, you'll see now it's ready to export and uh, export as a build or a demo uh, on the on the desktop but it will take some time so i will not do this right now uh, but this is the, basically the idea because i know you was confused but i didn't put uh, more pressure last session because we learned a lot of stuff but i think this video it's gonna be more easier for you to understand the baking so this is simply the baking uh maybe i forgot only one more thing uh, when you create any scene and you are looking for the build to build you have to add something it's called light mass light mass importance value okay put in the scene and scale it to fit your scene okay so just make sure you fit everything here each area here until it's fit correctly and then now you are ready uh, to pick don't forget to open the world from uh, window world setting and start to change the value here uh, there is a documentation in uh, in epic help you can find out uh, more details here and what is the best details uh, what is the best uh, value you can put it for the your picking uh, we will have interior scene uh, maybe next session and I will show you more about the light picking. Uh, I hope you like this video and see you in next video. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.